Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of Torment, Tides of Numenera. Thanks for joining me. Well, it does indeed look like we have... ...gotten to the spot where we're going to head out. I'm going. I think we've found everything. Couldn't repair any of these things. Alright, I do believe it is time to go outside. Now, this game is already looking really, really wild and crazy. Uh, our companions, especially the lady who's all of her multiple selves are flashing around her, is really wild. I expect it to get crazier and crazier from here. It's a very... I need to talk to you unusual high fantasy setting. Yeah, look at that. So this dude needs to talk to me. So how do we talk to him? Ah, uh, why? Yeah. This is the reef of fallen worlds, kid. It's a dangerous place at the best of times. And with you lighting up the sky as you fell, well, we should get out of here as soon as possible. Okay. Don't be so paranoid. Hmm. So he really believes that Castellage would, would hurt me or something? Okay. magic artifacts from other worlds in this plane. What's your story? Okay. So, dangerous about the reef, Luminara, Castle Hitch tattoos. Alright, let's keep going. Watch your steps, child. This is not a place to walk lightly. There are dangers in the reef, both old and new. Right, right, right. Tell us our stories. She does sound kind of evil. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's zoom out. There's this thing. Ready. 
two floating cones whirl and spin deliriously around each other, giggling like children being tickled. Air around them smells of sweet burning leaves. The cones continue whirling and laughing like enraptured dancers, giving no sign they've heard. Watch them for patterns. The longer you stare at these artifacts, the more you're convinced they turn faster with their spiraling paths across each other. So... Managed to graze one with the tip of your finger. Roar and a voice says, Your vision is stolen from you. The moon hangs over you, but not the one you recognize. It's black in a pearl-white sky. Thick flash asteroids orbit it like petals in the wind. You feel questing tendrils at your ankle, and the hot wind on your face smells scorched by hair and grief. Yikes! Vision returns. They aren't for anything. They're for one of the worlds before this one. Alright. Leave the cones alone. What's over here? This is just so much stuff. Alright. Tangle up. A cluster of metallic tendrils grows from the depths of the nearby water. Strangely, they resemble clawed alien hands, most of which have seven or eight fingers. Hands sway slowly, but their movements are difficult to follow. Watching them for too long makes you nauseous. Apart from the hands themselves, you don't notice anything of interest in the cluster. Let's do that. He has the best chance to do it. Nice critical success. You get the hand nearest to you and snap it from its roots. Stepping back, you give a couple experimental swings. Good balance. It might make a decent weapon. Nice. Eight fingered mace, medium melee weapon. Chemical damage. Very nice. Okay. All right. We should walk away. Is there something over here? Let's go. Loot. I don't know why she keeps saying "let us go." Moss. Healing things. What is that? Yes, now. Matte black, mat black obelisk floats in midair above the water at a sharp curved sides that converge to glowing tip that brightens or dims with the passing of the bay's faint breezes. Let's leave it alone for the second. See what's up y'all. Oh my. Well, let's keep hovers in the air. You can feel the ground shudder with its vibrations. Doesn't seem like there's anything we can do there. Let's go touch the obelisk, shall we? Can't really I'm going. It's, it's either zoomed way in or way out. Alright. 
That did something to us. Some good, I suppose. What's that? Got an antique. So it seems like it's some sort of ship. Some vehicle. This glowing thing is it's nothing. Okay. Uh oh. Here comes some people. Construct. You four strangers approach you, and he leaves a wiry man with parallel scars running from cheek to collarbone on the left side of his face. He gives you a welcoming smile, pulling on gray gloves embedded with pulsing lights. He's about to say something to you when he notices Castellage. She's a star, or she came out of it. But what does Cal have to do with this? Hmm. Cal, I thought you'd sworn off trolling the reef. Fence, uh, anything tasty? His eyes travel up and down both you and Alagern. Odds and ends, Koro, nothing that would interest you, I'm sure. Her words are calm, but she has gone quite still. What is he doing here? He has something up his sleeve, I know it. <coughs> Let them talk. His hand curls into a fist at his side. I was wondering specifically if you had seen a falling star that landed near here not that long ago. I've seen nothing of the sort, dear Koro. Her lips close thinly. What about your friends? He turns to you. I know most of the draft that scavenges the reef these days. It's a rare pleasure to see a new face. Hmm. Uh huh. So there's some sort of offensive. Gloves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-ha-ha-ha-ha. Nice. So, So, this is, seems like a big decision. Probably shouldn't do the truth. Um, Fifty percent. Who is the best chance? It's us. So they pass on. Just gonna... Nice thinking kid. That would have been a fiasco. You figured out why they were here, right? I knew I could just cast Sledge just the last time I make that mistake. <laughs> huh. 
28 hours a day. Hey, that's not nice language. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to go with Castellage. She's more interesting. The Underbelly. Okay. Seems evil, but I like her. Now that you've dealt with Koro and his goons, you can continue to the city of Segus Cliffs to reach the city across the bridge at the north end of the platform. Okay. Yeah, that lady's just really interesting. There's a shadow of depression in the surface here, like many others. Like the other's energy still pulses. A loose lens at the center. Oh, we could have only used that like in the fight. Gotcha. So I think that is it for this area. What's that thing? Lambent green fluid drips from the end of the device's nozzle and hisses angrily to the surface. Okay, so those were just things we could only use if we chose to fight them, which we didn't. We just kind of like yelled at them. Let's go. Fingers. Oh, it's only me. Eh, let's cancel it. No, can't we just uh, exit out? Huh. That's interesting. It's not. Doesn't seem like we can back out. Was I having that problem last time? Uh, oh. Okay, so we got zapped. And our our tide went up or down. When the light fades, you're utterly gone, burnt to an ash. Oh. Okay. I thought, uh, thought maybe we would survive that, but I guess not. I forgot I also have to switch my, uh, I have to switch my controls when I'm playing this game. Like last time, that was the problem. I was all mashing it. Yes. All right, we will we'll zap quickly through. Yes, now. This. Well, 
That's too bad. I need to talk to you. All right, what was that? Sixty. Sixty. All right. Did that. Let's go. Pretty much keep it the same. Deception. Right, and I'm the one who's the best at that. Alright, so there they go. We'll choose Castellage again, and then advance the story. So he's paranoid, I think. All right, let's go with Castledge. save and go to the next area. That's what. So we're going to go into a city now, it seems. Okay then, 
That's a long load. Come on now. off the distant sea, seeping between you and the boy. Okay. Okay. Making a note. Okay, I've got a weird clock. Making a note. Okay. Execution. Hey, hey, hey. Bug lady in the market. Farm in the underbelly. So much info. So the reef, that's where we came from. Silver Tide. Hmm. Cliffsage. That's where my other companion was gonna go hang out in the underbelly, I think. So, gotten all the info. Okay. 
Okay. All right, well, that seems to be a good place for us to end. Uh, you having fun uh, with this series. It helps me out a whole lot when you like the videos you watch. Subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and I hope you join me next time. It's going to be all for now. Spitting my out. Namaste.